Hey guys, it's Sari from the Elliot Farm. Today, we're going to talk about fencing. It's all about fencing. And do you know how important fencing is, especially if you live in an area where I'm at, where there's so many predators and so many critters and a lot of animals like roaming around the woods. And we have deer, coyote, weasels, raccoons, foxes everywhere. And uh, we want to make sure that the chicken run and the garden is protected from all those. So <laughs> a few months ago, we had put up the fencing for this garden and it was a lot of hard work, but we had used welded wire fencing and uh, a lot of T-post. So for the welded wire fencing, we chose that because it's very, very stable and it's it's probably one of the best out there that we could use and um, given you know where we where we are right now so we probably used about 263 feet of fencing uh, that's the garden and the chicken run uh, the chicken run probably probably used around a hundred 113 feet and then the rest went to the garden. We have a pretty good sized garden uh, here at the farm and uh, having that fencing really really helped getting all of our plants and herbs and of course the chicken protected. Uh, eventually uh, the chicken run we're going to make it a little bit more um, I guess high level security as you could say uh, we still have to worry about the predators once the, when the chickens are out in the run uh, so we're planning on adding a little bit more stuff to that uh, maybe a little bit of roof so they can have a little bit of shade and and um, maybe make it a little bit higher because um, our fencing is five feet tall and uh, I want to be able to get in there and plant some plants so <laughs> Uh, the T-post that we've used here in the garden and the run is a six-foot T-post and we've used a five-foot weld wire fence. All right, my rooster is crowing right now and he's happy in there <laughs> with his ladies. Uh, but yeah, so uh, here's how we had, uh, well actually Wade, <laughs> how Wade put up our uh, fence for the garden. Check it out. So before we put up our fencing, we made sure the ground was level. The garden area is at a slope, so we made sure to pass it a few times with our box blade attachment to our John Deere. Once the ground was level, we used three things to prepare the fencing. We have a T-posts, tape measure, and a fence post driver with handles. These are really important when you are prepping for the fencing. So we drove the T-post at least one foot into the ground. We made sure it's 10 feet between T-posts and make sure you keep it in a straight line.
So we needed more room to put up the fencing. And of course, um, we want enough room from outside the fence so we can mow or weed around it as well. So we used the bucket of our John Deere to push some dirt. And of course, the box plate attachment to our John Deere to level the ground some more. We did the same thing to the area around our chicken run. Our chicken run is 50 feet by 13 feet. Our garden is 50 feet on each side of the square. Now that our fence is up, it's time to secure them with T-post fence clips. I believe we used around three or four clips per T-post. So as you can see, that was a lot of hard work <laughs> putting up the fencing and uh, there was a lot of sweat, achy muscles, and definitely, well, possibly tears on, we on uh, Wade's end, putting up the fencing. It took him probably a few days to get that up because it's just a lot of hard work, but he got it done. He did a phenomenal job putting up the fencing, and now our plants are protected. So we have our tomatoes right here and eggplant is right behind me and we have other stuff growing. We have our pumpkins growing, our watermelons growing, our lavender, our um, roses. And I'm just really grateful we have our fencing up uh, because now we, everything is growing as they, as they should be. All right, so if you have any questions, uh, just put it below in the comments and we'll answer them as much as we could. And also I'm gonna put a link uh, to link about the fencing and the T posts that we've used down in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care guys.